Aziz, where you at? Panda. Panda, panda, panda. Oh, maybe it's the microwave. Oh, I do like the way the light make my hair look. Okay. No, I didn't cut my hair. I just took my wig off. Um, everybody's waiting on me to say something. <laughs> I was just on Periscope a little while ago, and it just seems like everybody's waiting on me to say something. So I'm just uh, sitting here, and I reiterate everything that I've said before. Like, my number put out I put at least one voicemail message up I haven't put everything up um I have a cold so I'm really tired and you know whatever and I'm on these next and blah 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 whatever and I'm sorry y'all I ain't hype and you know y'all want me to put on a wig on and shut and jive and dance but this is just me this is me um <laughs> you're here for it I appreciate it Bertha I just want to I mean I don't I, I don't know how to respond honestly um I still feel the same way. I still feel like it's all of these men kind of like coming at me for whatever reason. Um, and I feel like I was just doing my job. Like I pulled the receipts. They were mad about the receipts. And it just feels like um, T.S. Madison and her gang of Mary Mandy man whores or whatever <laughs> are like, you know, trying to come up with some other narrative as if you know, I'm fighting her. I have some type of beef with him. Now, I'm going to call him him because, like I said, uh, respect is earned, not given. And I still still feel like, you know, this man with a penis, even though he has breasts, have, has, like, you know, literally recruited people, um, you know, to smear me, talk to other people to smear me. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, I still haven't gotten any type of apology, any type of acknowledgement that they, they even put my phone number out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of, I'm Switzerland right now. So I'm just kind of like going to sit back. We just got a hot spot, so we do that. I'm going to kind of sit back with my feet up and, um, you know, pretty much wait for everybody to hang themselves because my defense is truth, <laughs> you know, and so my credibility, when it comes to anybody questioning my credibility, the one thing that I'm not going to do is allow that to happen. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is, because I was cool with a few people, is I'm just going to let, I'm, I'm going to give them the opportunity to correct whatever the situation is. Um, like this video, y'all. Like this video. Like this video. Um, I I, I want to talk more about it, but just like y'all, I'm exhausted. You know, I'm exhausted with the back and forth. I'm tired of the drama. Um, you know, I talked a little bit yesterday about, you know, the anti-slap law and how, you know, some people do certain things to kind of hinder your business. And I feel like this is a similar situation and that someone put my phone number out there and caused a lot of uh, issues with me and my business um, has basically, you know, stopped me from doing, you know, the work that, that I do. Doesn't want me to do the work that I do as far as, you know, I'm uploading too many videos or I'm talking about them too many times or whatever the case may be. Um, it's, just, it's just been really interesting to see and, you know, I'm very disappointed in the way a lot of people is handling it, you know? So, I'm, it's like people want me to act like I'm the victim and people want me to like, you know, rally the troops and all of that, but I'm not, I'm not trying to do that because my first defense wasn't, you know, I'm a real girl, I'm a real woman with a vagina. I can do this and you can't. That wasn't my first defense. My first defense was I did call him. I said, you're he, she, or it, whatever you want to be called today. I did say that. And I apologize about that in the last video. I understand he's human. He's definitely a human being. I should not have said it. But I was upset because of the the lack of respect um, of them putting my phone number out, you know, 
And again, you know, y'all know Alex has done what was on. We talked about that. Alex even talked about it. So him all of a sudden, and I don't, I don't even want to get into that. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm not even talking about Alex. So, you know, y'all waiting on me to talk about Alex. I'm not going to talk about Alex. I, I'm not going to throw him under the bus yet. Um, because I could. <laughs> like I said, I could. When I, if you go back to that first Periscope where I played the um, video of, you know, the first harassing call that I got where I spoke about it, I said in that video that I could have put the text out. I could have said whatever. But, you know, it's Alex's story to tell. I'm going to let him tell it if he wants to tell it. He chose not to. So basically, you know, I was just hung out to dry. And I just feel like, you know, everybody's forming allegiances. So the, the LGBT community, the gay men, the trans, whatever, they have formed an allegiance against me. And there's a lot of black 